Sun Ogi Sagoskwa. My Korean name is um, Angel Woman. My English name is Jillian Bull. Today I have my mom here, and we're gonna. We've been asked and offered tobacco to smudge and pray for the ones who didn't make it home from residential school, day school, and the 60s. And those still in care. And those still in care. Miyogi si payao, miyogi si gansik, and si gasa no samasusko. My Cree name is Yellow Calf Woman. Today I've been offered stale mao, the tobacco, by the um, staff here at Vimy. It's a complete honor and privilege to do this smudge ceremony. Um, we usually use sweet grass, but today I'm going to use sage. Uh, the elders want us to continue learning our ways and to continue sharing what what this uh, day means to us and how we become to know who we are and to continue those kindness paths of respect integrity honor honesty and of course that kindness and generosity towards one another between all nations so the teaching of why we smudge this is the teaching of the sweet grass I'm gonna um, start on when it's lit. So it is said that when we light the sweet grass, the grandfathers and grandmothers of the spirit world see us as stars and come close to hear our prayers. Our prayers are carried through the smoke by the grandfather, the grandmothers, to the creator. When we smudge or cleanse ourselves with the smoke, the prayer is that our minds have clarity of thought that our hands do good work, that our legs walk a straight path, that our hearts are strong, and that from our mouth comes the truth. Sweetgrass is a very special gift and is given great respect by indigenous peoples. When you require a braid for your personal use, tobacco is offered to an elder or teacher. Money is not demanded, however, money may be offered as a gift for the teaching in sweetgrass. The braid is also seen as representing the past, our ancestors, the present, ourselves, and the future, the children not yet here. The past, present, and future are seen as being in this moment and all that we are is as a result of our ancestors. And everything we do today contributes to the children of the future. So today we're gonna smudge and honor and pray for those who didn't get home from residential school, those who are survivors of day school and residential school, and those who continue that path and journey to heal. May we continue these good ways and may we continue helping one another. Staff has also asked me to share the teaching of the eagle feather. Well, the significance of an eagle feather shows strength 
for example, as students, when we complete <clears throat> our university, our, our graduation, we were awarded an eagle feather because it shows that we've gone through that challenge and, and we've become warriors to go back and represent our Indian nations. That's one of the teachings that was shared with me by our elders. May we continue helping one another and continue a good path in this journey of reconciliation. And always remember, every child matters. Aksa, hi, hi.